Hey, Dollar Tree says, no, this is not a Dollar Tree video, but with the price of everything skyrocketing lately, I just wanted to share with you guys a really great, easy recipe that I love making for my family. These are boneless, skinless chicken thighs that I do pick up at Aldi's. Did you guys see that price of $6.90? Well, I just picked these up. They're fresh. I love boneless, skinless thigh meat. It tastes so good, and it's really high in protein. I feel like it's really fresh. You get a lot of it, and I'm going to show you guys an awesome meal that you can make today and eat quite a few meals out of it. So I took the chicken thighs and just really quickly put a little bit of salt and pepper and so I'm pan frying these in some olive oil with some onion powder and Emerald's Original Essence that I got from Ollie's and I love for just a buck and salt and pepper like I said, nothing crazy. So we're just pan frying it real quick. Happen to have, actually it's like a half a cabbage because I had a really large cabbage that I bought, but I used some of the outside leaves when I made corned beef and cabbage just to flavor the water, but I knew we weren't gonna eat the cabbage, so I'm going to thinly slice this cabbage up and I'm gonna stir fry it. The boneless chicken thighs are just crispy and moist on the inside. They are cooked perfectly. Now, in the frying pan that I cooked the chicken thighs, I'm going to drop my shredded cabbage and I'm going to put one lemon and probably two tablespoons of butter. Okay. So now this is what it looks like. I really like it when the cabbage gets a little char. I put two tablespoons of butter and one whole lemon in here and I didn't even put salt and pepper. Okay guys, so it is exactly how I like it. I really like it when the cabbage gets a little bit caramelized. It is perfect. We have the chicken. All I did was add lemon, one whole lemon, and two tablespoons of butter. It didn't need any seasoning because of course, all of the drippings from the chicken are already right in this cabbage. It is super caramelized and full of flavor. That lemon, really brightens up the cabbage. Now what we're gonna do is take our chicken and dump it right on top of there so that it can get that flavor going. This is kind of like a new version of pasta to me because I'm not having carbs, but the cabbage is really filling and makes you feel like you're eating carbs. I'm gonna cut all of this chicken up into strips. Now this is so flavor filled. It is really a marriage of lots of different flavors and almost like cultures in a way. I don't think that this exists. It's something that I've made up lately while I've been going carb free and it's very, very satisfying now. So now I'm gonna take all of this goodness and put it into my favorite Dollar Tree bowl. You guys know this bowl. It's my kitchen staple. Just like that, yummy. Then cook up okay. some of this absolutely wonderful pancetta that I get from Aldi's, the diced pancetta, and one onion. This time I will be cleaning out the frying pan. I happen to love buying the pancetta from Aldi's, but if you don't have pancetta, you can always use maybe like six slices of bacon or a few slices of bacon. The bacon flavor or the pancetta flavor really does kick this dish up to a whole new level of yumminess with that citrus in the cabbage, that whole lemon that we put in the cabbage and the crispy, yummy, almost grilled or fajita style flavor of the chicken meat. It's really such a fun combination of food and it it's very, very, it's like a comfort food at this point. I really enjoy eating it. I enjoy making it. It's super easy to make. And it makes me feel like I've had a bowl of carbs. It just feels like you're eating a bowl of pasta, like some yummy carbonara dish almost. Okay, so here is the crispy onion that's caramelized and the pancetta, the chicken and the cabbage. And we are going to assemble our delicious 
Guys, I know that it doesn't look super delicious. It doesn't look super appetizing. But I promise you, the flavor combination here is out of this world. You are going to love this. If you love cabbage, if you love crispy chicken, you are going to love this. And think about it. There's no breading on these chicken thighs. There's no breads or pasta involved here, but it feels like you're having a bowl of comforting pasta or carbs. It's so, so good. So in the bowl, mm, I tasted it. It's so good. In this bowl is the chicken and cabbage. Now, normally I would say if you don't have any dietary restrictions in your family when it comes to salt or anything like that, just mix it all together. It tastes delicious. But Due to some of the members of my family having certain dietary restrictions, we are trying to keep it on the lower sodium side. So the pancetta with the onion is kept separate. But you guys, the flavor combo of this is so, so outrageous. And that cabbage really does have the mouthfeel of a pasta dish. See what I mean about it being kind of like pasta? It's, it's so satisfying. I love the cabbage in this dish. It's unlike anything I've had in any other dish. It is super delicious, guys. Please give this recipe a try. You will come back and thank me for it. Mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. For those of you who know, my husband grew up in a completely Polish household, and he grew up eating a lot of Polish delicacies. And when I first suggested that we make the cabbage like this, he was really I guess, confused by it. Like, the only thing that made sense to him was adding butter to the cabbage because that's something that I guess is predominant in Polish cuisine. So he likes to call this Polish egg rolls. The only real time he ever eats cabbage is either in an egg roll or in his mom's cooking. And this recipe, he says that it's like an egg roll, but there's no soy sauce, no flavors of Asian cuisine, but that that butter kind of gives it a homemade, like home cooking, sort of his heritage type of meal. He even loves it. And he totally gets why it gives me that pasta mouthfeel. It's the the size of the cabbage and the way that it melges with the chicken. It just tastes like you're having noodles and chicken. It's really simple, super delicious, and actually so, so good for you. Cabbage is something that is strongly urged to be eaten when you're trying to diet. It helps you lose weight even. So if you're on any type of low carb, keto, Atkins diet journey, and cabbage is something that you are allowed to have, and you're trying to cut back on pasta, wheat, flour products, even rice, you're going to love this. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed this video and you think you might enjoy this recipe, please leave a comment down below. And as always, guys, stay safe and stay savvy. Bye-bye.